Hey folks, uh, day two. No, actually this would be what? Morning of the third day, right? Yeah. The morning of the third day. It is Sunday, he rose. So uh, morning of the third day, guys, we're gonna pack up camp here in a little bit. We've had a great, just fun time uh, hanging out here in uh, Grand Junction area. But uh, wanted to take a just a moment here. Uh, my buddy Jordan has been rocking the Alps uh, Zephyr two man backpacking tent. Uh, and this is a tent that I actually recommended to him having never used an Alps in my life. I've always seen great um, reviews. I think like the, the design, the weight class to price point, I think has always been pretty sweet with their stuff. And so I just wanted to have him just take us kind of for a spin around this tent. Um, tell us what he likes, maybe some things that he doesn't uh, with it now that he's used it several times, both by himself and he's had uh, buddies, you know, when we've done backpacking last year and stuff, this was the tent you were using. So, um, Jordan, why don't you just tell us a little bit about this uh, and what you maybe you notice, what you like, what you don't. Yeah, absolutely. So this is the Zephyr 2. Um, got this last year in advance of a good backpacking trip that we had. Um, <clears throat> super lightweight. I think I got it for right around 60 bucks on REI's website. Oh, really? You got yeah. it like, okay, so yeah, this super is like a, deal. I think they just updated the color or something, I think. So that's yeah. awesome. So super affordable. It's incredibly lightweight. One of the things that I really love about this is just how easy it is to set up and, and break down. I mean, this thing comes up in like a minute. I mean, it's super easy. It's got an awesome rain fly, which we can show you guys here in a minute, but it's got two doors. That's what I really love about this. This is a two man backpacking tent. And so either, either side has an opportunity to open up. So, and especially like in the location that we're at today, um, got the opportunity just to open it up in the morning, kind of air it out, air it out, but also wake up to the awesome views that uh, we have so you can kind of angle that either way because that's something that I know for both of us that we've talked about like certain be always on the lookout if you are getting even if it's not this one you're looking at tents if it's a if it's more than a one-man tent you either want a door on either side so you don't have to crawl over the other person but or one on the, like the front like if there was one right here so that everybody can come in and out the same way and you're not crawling over each other I've had some that only have like one door and you have to crawl over the other person that's super annoying if you have to yeah. get up you know, in the middle of the night and i see that it's got little keepers yep that you can roll it up right and get these out of the way right so that's nice um you can't tell if those are ykks or not but they seem have you ever had them like catch or had any issues no. with them yeah okay no they seem to be pretty smooth i mean i like it's got your little ceiling here yeah let's look uh let's, let's see if i can get down in here so you got like a little mesh attic so yep. that's nice and you got one pocket right basically yep. by your just head right up the front one thing I wish maybe that it would have had like one more somewhere just to store a couple of extra things because like when yeah because that's pretty shallow and if you have two people in here you might want a little extra storage sure. somewhere it looks like you got like a bathtub style uh, bottom yep now it did not come with a footprint though right it did not yeah so that's you're using you're using Tyvek so that's like a, I think you can buy footprints um, separate so that's good aluminum and you kind of can see here guys that it's like a Kind of like an hourglass, right? Mm -hmm. So you got like wide, wide near your head and shoulders and where you're doing a lot of your movement. And then it kind of tapers down a little bit near your feet, uh, which is fine because uh, that just helps cut down on the weight. Yep, plenty of space. Yeah, could you, uh, are you able to just hop in there real quick and just yeah. sit up so we can kind of see that? Oh yeah. Yeah, and, and tall, yeah like, space. and how tall are you? Oh, 5'11". 5'11", yeah, so average male height there and you, your, your head isn't even, I mean, oh, you probably, yeah. you probably like can a foot go all the way down. Up. I can even go a little farther. We're good. Yeah, so I mean, if you're over, like, let's say 6'2", it would probably, and I'm going to give you guys dimensions here. I'll be annotating those in. But when you sit up, I mean, you got plenty of headroom. Yeah, no, it's awesome. That's sweet. Cool. So so you're happy with the, the well, particularly, I forgot that you got it at 60 bucks. I mean, that's a screen yeah. deal. Um, I'll annotate in what the normal going rate is for them. I think they're more like 150 on average, which is still a decent price for you know what you're getting. But we'll you want to throw the the rainfly on? Yeah, real quick. The rainfly's pretty sweet, and you also have the double door action and two vestibule, wings. right? You yep. get two vestibule. Sweet. We'll throw that on real quick and show you guys what that's like. All right, so Jordan, you got the rainfly on. 
it's pretty sweet and i like kind of the high vis so you can yeah. sometimes you know if you're out hiking you're like where did we camp again so that's that's nice to have that um good tension point right there so obviously one vestibule on this side and then you got another vestibule over here so that's good so again two backpacks and you'd, you'd say you could get your backpacking pack in under oh, there oh yeah easily so this guy oh yeah there you go slide right under there yep perfect oh yeah you got plenty of space in there that's sweet and place for your shoes I yep. love. and then you got ykk um polymers down there to clip it all on and uh completely covered up yep stays atten dry tension points but you could roll it up and then you got your vent, right? Yep. Yeah. There you go. I don't know if you guys can see that with the sunlight. Yeah, it definitely looks like a little alien spacecraft or something. That's cool. I call it my Avengers tent. There you go. And then uh, I, we saw this, that you got like a little polymer window right here, right? That can let the sun in a little bit. So have you had this on with the rain covering? Do you get some natural mm -hmm. light in there? Okay. Yep. It's nice. Nice. So the, the moment of truth really, um, Jordan is if you were, your house was burned down and you needed to replace a two man backpacking tent and let's say whatever the, again, I'm annotating in a ballpark around 150, I think is yep. what they normally go for the new version. Uh, would you buy this again or would you look for something else? I personally, I would probably buy it again. Um, just because it's incredibly functional. It's easy to put up, break down, I mean, it fits all of my needs that I've had to do for the last two years. Um, it seems to hold up just fine, and it's incredibly lightweight. So it like, we'll show everyone, you know, what bag it fits in, but it's incredibly lightweight, super small and compact. Um, I personally tend to love it. So Sweet. that's awesome. So there you go, guys. There's a quick little kind of rundown of one of the tents we've been using. We've done stuff before on the Mountain Smiths that we're using, but uh, I thought that was a good rundown just wanted to show you guys um an alps and maybe in the future we'll get some more other stuff but that's the zephyr model two person they do have a three person in this series they may even have bigger now i don't know but uh two or three person um options that you can take a look at and jordan gives it a big thumbs up all right guys well until next time always remember stay equipped stay prepared we'll see you out there